All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the Giant Mouse Sonoma Ace uh, uh, Ansel uh, designed uh, knife here with me for a maintenance uh, video. But hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content. So let's, um, let's see what we can do. Uh, because this is a really cool knife, guys. Uh, I like it uh, very much, except for the pocket clip. That's not really my style, but whatever. This is not a review. This is just a maintenance video. So we're going to try to see if we can improve a little bit the action of this uh, uh, guy over here. So pivot is spinning. So we're going to need two uh, T8 Torx bit screws uh, uh, right over here. So we're going to use this guy. Uh, T8 uh, here. So uh, this is one and this is two. So just hold it in place like this very sturdily and then you're gonna be able to unscrew. Just be careful because you need to have a, a secure grip, otherwise you can really easily slip off your hands and just you can just risk to scratch uh, some surface. So you don't want that. Um, all right, pivot is out, and that is one. And then we can do I think this side over here, same T8. Nothing is spinning because this is just screwed in into the um, scale, which is not ideal. I mean, it's not ideal. I prefer when, like, for example, in this case, the screw is screwed in uh, into the backspacer. Let's see uh, what's inside of this guy over here. And uh, just wiggle it a little bit. I'm gonna need uh, uh, this guy over here, just a plastic tool just to pry it a little bit just be gentle guys always just I don't know why it's stuck oh there's a pin okay sure so let's see if we can just jam this guy in like so not really hmm. oh because there's some pressure from the lock bar maybe like that yeah, exactly. Very, very good. So that is done. Uh, this guy also is pretty clean. I actually, uh, when I assembled it, I took care of that. Nice detent ball ramp right over there. Caged ceramic bearings. Uh, there's a spinning pivot, yeah, but you can see there is a nice uh, uh, stainless steel lock bar insert with, uh, with double uh, screws. Uh, I think that's a copper, maybe bronze anodized titanium pivot collar, which is always, always a nice addition. Nice um, uh, bronze anodized uh, titanium backspacer with a pin, which is, uh, yeah, it's removable. So we're not gonna, there's no need uh, to remove that. We just wanna try to improve the action. Vox uh, and so engraving on the inside, hardened, uh, stainless steel washers, which is nowadays very, very common to see in uh, in this sort of price range, because this is gonna be like, what, $250, something like that. So, I mean, it's not a cheap uh, one, but also it's not like the most expensive knife uh, ever. Uh, and it's good to see all the checkbox uh, ticked, uh, like uh, ceramic ball bearing, ceramic uh, detent, uh, stainless steel um, insert, over travel stop bar, bar uh, titanium backspacer, lanyard hole. Uh, there's no deep carry pocket clip. The clip is, yeah, I mean, not my favorite, but whatever. Uh, I like the indentation of the, uh, like the, the bearing uh, pocket milled out uh, from the blade. It's, it's very, very nice uh, indeed. Uh, also, you know what? Uh, we're going to use some uh, 85 weight nano oil for the uh, ball, uh, for the, sorry, for the 
uh, detent ball, ceramic detent ball, and we are done, guys. So this guy can just go back. I think we did everything correctly. And uh, let's just uh, put the handle screws back. And that is one. And then it's two. And then, uh, let's see, let's reduce the tension here. And like so. And then for this guy, we're going to use just a little bit of uh, uh, blue Loctite just to keep this uh, pivot screw from unscrewing itself just a little amount, something like that, all right? And it's in like so. All right, of course, it's spinning, so we're going to take care of that as well. So let's just clean this out. Uh, and also the blade. Of course, there's some blade play. It's still centered, huh? That's good. That's very good. When the pivot is, is loose uh, and the blade is center is always a good indication of, uh, of good tolerances, actually. So nicely done. Just tighten in the Handle screws, let me see. There's no blade play. Oh, actually it's nice. It's very smooth. Let me see. It looks like a little bit too tight. Let me see if we can untighten this guy and have no blade play. Blade is centered. Hmm, there's some gritty action here. Uh, maybe it was just something Oh, that's actually nice. Actually, that's too much, so I'm just going to do a little bit. That's good. It's actually smooth, guys. I'm not sure if I improved the action, but uh, there's no, you see, false shot, but no guillotine effect. You have to wiggle it a little bit. Blade is centered, no blade play, and this is what you want. N strong detent on this one, actually. It's a nice one. I like it. I like it. Probably I don't like the pocket clip. I need to see better, but it is definitely a cool one. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.